he didn't have that level of respect for safety on the project, it may have been harder to maybe quickly change or try to influence people to uh, maybe change some of their safety behaviors in respect to now this new threat of COVID. But I think on this project, because of that effort early on to build that safety culture, that it made uh, incorporating COVID protocols, you know, maybe a little more natural and um, a little easier, maybe if we didn't have that to start with. Luckily, we were very proactive in um, buying out our materials early on, um, and we bought with the subs, storing them off site. So we really didn't get hit with any manufacturing delays or anything like that because we had everything already procured and waiting for us. On this project, we implemented a process called Prevention Through Design, PTD. What it does, it, it gets the architect, it gets the design people, it, it gets the engineers, the safety department, and then the end user or the owner. It gets them all together at the table before the building is completed and drawn out. You know, there was a couple instances like adding roof parapets, you know, during construction, so workers never had to tie off on the roof um, while working up there. Roof davits, you know, so if we did have to tie off working on edges or anything like that, there was a way to do that. 